everyone. This is continuation of how to make a swimwear cover up part 2b but I am making this as a standalone video so that I may refer to it for future projects. So this will only discuss how to mark the neck width after you crocheted the piece big enough for the upper front chest and sleeve. We use the circumference of the head to determine how big the neck hole should be because we want the garment to go over the head easily. So the next thing is how to mark the neck width. To do this, we fold the piece in half. Line up the double crochets and spaces on each side of the fold together. I do this by using my fingers to fill the holes and double crochets on each side of the fold. We're gonna get over One step away from salvation You're like the ocean setting me free Out in the open I'm picking up speed no. I mark the stitch that falls on the fold whether it's a chain one or a double crochet stitch and this is the center of the chest piece Now we are going to mark the neck width. The neck width is based on half the circumference of my head because the piece is only half so we divide the head circumference in half that gives us the width of the neck of the front piece but since this is folded now the front piece is folded so we have to divide that half again in half so we ended up with 5.5 half of my head circumference is 11 and a half then I rounded off to 11 then I divided 11 by 2 then it gives me the 5.5 and so we will go by the, this measurement. I measure five and a half from the center and mark the stitch where five and a half falls. Then I count how many spaces there are from the double crochet that I marked up to the mark center and duplicate this on the other side of the fold so that this has equal number of spaces neck width is marked so now we can continue to crochet so the next part of this video is how to crochet and shape the neckline and shoulder part of the chest piece so the chest and the upper chest are now in one piece at least the front part so watch for the next video and i appreciate you all for watching so i'll see you soon so bottom up. Get over there